With the new freshmen, uh, we're going to expect a bunch of energy. Um, it's a completely new team. We've got a bunch of young players. I mean, the majority of the team that's starting will be, you know, freshmen and sophomores. Um, so with our training so far, we've been working on a lot of possession and working hard, a lot of, like, fitness. Um, um, I don't know. We're going to have to come into the come to the conference with a totally different head than we did last year. You know, we came into our conference last year with real big heads, and um, we're going to have to change that this year. I think this team is a real honest, hardworking team, so I believe that that's definitely going to help us in the long run, especially towards the, the end of the season when games get tough. Since you came in with big heads, what specifically what did you learn about a new conference and maybe some of the teams that you will be facing now every year? I um, learned that you can't take uh, any game for granted. You know, you got to... Every game is a big game, um, especially towards the end of the season when you know the points start getting real tight in the brackets. It's, it's just a tough, tough thing to keep in your mind the whole time, especially when you get towards the end of the season. Like I said, I mean, um, fitness is a key thing for us. And last year, I think that's one of the the key reasons that you know we let down a lot of the games that we should have won and got points out of. Um, the plan is really take it one step at a time. Uh, obviously, want to right the wrongs of last season. Uh, go a step further, um, probably going to the MAC, I think, one step further so we can make the MAC finals. And we didn't make the tournament last year, so we're, we're desperate to make that tournament again, get this program where it should be, yeah. What did you learn about a, a new conference I and mean, having to get used to new conference members and everything like that? What, what are the things you took away from the first year? Well, we have to learn that every game's a big game, um, no matter who you're playing. Like. We went away to some tough places to play and probably didn't give our opponents the respect they deserve. So um, when they come here this year, we, we know what we're going to come up against and know that every team's going to want to beat us and it's going to be a battle out there. So I think the fitness and everything we're doing in pre-season is going to ultimately um, tail, uh, like go toward those, gets those sorts of games here. Yeah. What about uh, that trip to, I believe is Arizona tomorrow? Uh, what's that going to be like? Something new? Yeah, something new. Uh, hopefully just... You know, it's going to get this team more closely knit. Um, it's going to be a it's going to be a physical experience. It's going to be hot over there at altitude, and you know, it's a it's a quick it's a quick season. And fitness is going to be the most important thing, I think. Yeah. But you got a big game at home, Akron coming to town, and I know that in the past it seems like that's when West Virginia men's soccer does the best is when they've got you know a high caliber team coming to their uh, you know, to Morgantown. What do you think of that game, and how much could that be sort of a make-or-break game for this season, something to really put you guys over the top? I mean, hopefully it won't be a make-or-break game. Hopefully, you know, the other results that we get can mean we get to the tournament at the end of the season, but um, those sorts of games is, is why we play soccer. And um, in, uh, entertaining a, a team of that calibre, hopefully it gets the, the crowd behind us and plenty of people packed in that stadium. And when we have those sorts of games, we seem to do really well and come out on top. So let's hope that can happen again.